Hello YouTube. In most of the videos I have made addressing the human origins of the Quran, I have been rebuked, attacked and schooled for not speaking classic Arabic. Why don't I also study classic Greek? For the same reason that I'm not interested in learning another dead language. It is futile. And yes, I have a full Latinum under my belt, so I know what I am talking about. If the Quran claims it is intended to be clear and precise for all mankind, then it should be clear and precise in all languages that this God claims it has invented. The question I often ask colleagues and friends who are Muslims or Christian or atheist Arabs is, what does the language of the Quran have in common with today's Arabic? The consensus is very little. So regardless of whether a person speaks or maybe is an expert in the language, it is not the capability but the fact of criticism itself that provokes this personal attack. The Quranic Arabic, as is recited, sung or simply mumbled by Iranians, Indonesians or Saudis, is really understood even by Arabs. It is just as removed from the everyday reality as the English used in the Christian Bible is removed from everyday English. As opposed to the propagation area of the Christian Bible, however, there are vast areas within predominantly Islamic countries where Muslims are illiterate. They do not speak Arabic, nor can they read or write Arabic, let alone Quranic Arabic. What many people are not aware of is that even highly educated countries such as France, the US or Germany have a huge number of illiterates. The number in educated third world countries is exponentially higher. So you have Muslims who don't speak Arabic, except for a few verses they know from the Quran. You have Muslims that can't read or write Arabic and only hear about the Quran. Now I'm the first one to admit that I'm an outspoken critic of religious books. I'm a critic of all the superstition based mind control systems, all claiming to be exclusive and all claiming to be the only true and correct version of a particular worldview based on an imaginary friend called God. So I am attacked and criticized by Zoroastrians, Sikhs, Hindus, Rastafarians, Jews, Muslims and Christians alike. Mostly I'm confronted by ridiculous rhetoric and plain faith-based assertions, but these vary between denominations. What irritates me the most are Muslims claiming that I don't have a PhD in ancient Arabic. And so what? Is the Quran the direct revelation from a god or not? If yes, it should bloody well be perfect in any language, particularly since it is intended for all mankind, not just scholars in two areas, the Arabic language and the Islamic religion. Now my suggestion to overcome this problem is the following. Anyone wanting to join the club called Islam must pass a language exam to ascertain the proficiency of the candidate to fully understand the implications of the initiation ritual. Today, anyone being able to mouth or mumble the Shahada is welcome to the club. But should anyone decide to voice criticism, a degree in classical Arabic is required. Why not apply the same standard to joiners? Is this what a perfect God would want? Or is this what a used car salesman would want? Is this what a snake oil peddler would want? Why don't Muslims pay more attention to the contents of the holy and noble book rather than focus on the language capabilities or intellectual credentials of a critic? Why bring up obviously biased arguments which are clearly based on adjusting a worldview to the contents of a book? Why bring up obviously flawed arguments only because the book requires it? Why adjust your attitude towards reality and your everyday life according to the words in a book, regardless of whether it is divinely inspired or not? Why lie for a book? And please stop accepting converts into a contract they can't understand because they have no knowledge of the Arabic language or who can't read or write Arabic classical or ancient Arabic at that. Have them write at least one paragraph in Quranic Arabic explaining why they want to join Islam. And for heaven's sake stop using the stupid, ridiculous, dishonest and outright absurd argument that you can only criticize a religion and its book if you are an expert in the original language. Now, For all those that still have not understood what I'm doing, I'm trying to knock the Quran and every religious book for that matter off their self-erected pedestals 
Religious books are man-made and do not deserve any special treatment or reverence, no matter how much their defenders demand it. The Quran in particular does not have divine origins, does not contain scientific miracles, is not inerrant and has variants. Live with it and learn to adapt to reality. Since Muslims believe flying horses, talking ants and a man in the sky exist, they can still do this, knowing that their book was not originally written on golden tablets in heaven. I am not outright criticizing followers of Islam, as it is mostly not their fault that they have been brought up in an environment which is equivalent to brainwashing. I just deeply despise people such as Bouquet, Moore or Nike, who know better and yet mislead others, because they can. Thank you for your time and allowing me the opportunity of clarifying my point.